It is no longer lose the economic situation of Nigeria, from the hike in fuel price to the cost of living, especially for the common man on the street who has to take home 18,000 naira minimum wage or even less, in spite of how expensive everything seems to be now. So, Prof, what's your take on this? And I beg you to please come down to our level so that my viewers will understand what you're saying. That is what you get when the hobo pejoratively hobnobs with the hope goblin. Nigerians have been bamboozled, razzled, razzmatazz politically. Then I ask myself this rhetorical question. Is it not the same man who wept over the rulership of this country in 2011? Is it not the same man whose political enemies never wanted us to vote in 2015? Where I said he was super califragilistic, espialidocious. Um, I'm sorry, sir, but you got me lost, and I'm sure my viewers are lost too. Can you please break it down? Super califragilistic, espialidocious is a way of saying the president was fantastic. Oh, thank you. But his political enemies said he was suffering from what I describe as new mono ultra microscopic silicovolcanoconiosis. Uh, um, professor. Yes. It's, it's a word that is supposed to be called silicosis, meaning a long disease. But in search for the longest word in the dictionary, they pep it up to become a 45 letter word, which is new mono ultra microscopic silicovolcanoconiosis. Thank you. Yes. That is what they said he was being attacked of. But we insisted, we voted him. He got victory. Today, what we get in return. What we get in appreciation is the colossal, gagatua, homongous and endemic fuel price. High cost of living. What an opprobrium. What an odium. What an ignominious memento. That even at the barbituration of the so much acclimatized rebarbative subsidy orchestrated by the anomalous cabal, how did they arrive? at 145 naira per liter how much was this subsidy per liter look at it in 2012 the same subsidy evacuation and barbiturition was condemned by a scrupulous fastidious puritanical boisterous energetic and a routine tooting governor adams of shomole who was who won the voice of the masses but today for party affiliation sentiments for political somnopolism and malocclusion he has chosen to remain close-mounted reticent taciturn uncommunicative and unforthcoming meaning he has told in their poll this is sardonic opprobrious malevolent contumelious erroneous lugubrious and exasperating what a political baloney what a political Balihu, what a political bunker, Baldadas and hogwash. At this point, I will borrow the words of the great Sesquipedalia Logomanian Ikodomigodo of Edo State. That it is crystal clear, like the Bablika Mene Mene Teke Yufasi, that this administration has no blueprint on socio-economic lemmatas. But I will advise you to tell Mr. President that following his antecedent and pedigree, we know him, he can do better. Tell him to do better. But at this point, we will not koto in the apoho. Thank you. Well, Prof, thank you very much for talking to us. Well, viewers, Prof has taught me a new word today. Should we koto in the apoho?